bitch that's gonna happen. What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about James C. Burns, the actor that plays Frank Woods in the Black Ops franchise because a couple of days ago he did a live stream over on his channel where he addressed all of the new leaks in regards to Call of Duty 2020, the presumed Black Ops reboot and he went ahead and shared three facts which I'm going to be showing on screen in a second. Before we jump into that though I just want to quickly bring up the current situation with YouTube because due to this beer virus that's going around i can't even say the word because this video will get demonetized due to the situation with the virus unfortunately many creators big or small are experiencing a really unfortunate issue with youtube sub boxes aren't working notifications aren't going out um videos are underperforming streams are underperforming it's really unfortunate because now is a time when self-employers really have to step up their game because of what's going on outside they can't work outside everything's locked down so i would really appreciate it everybody went ahead and hit that that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload also follow me on twitter in case notifications still don't work it would really mean a lot so that we can keep this channel alive through these dark times but without further ado here are the three facts that james c burns shared during his live stream this is a fact i have not i have not recorded any content of any kind since september of 2018. fact number two I have not been in contact with anyone at Treyarch or Activision, but uh, most of my guys who I've been working with for the last 10 years at Treyarch are no longer there. Third fact, this is a fact, is that I don't know what the next thing is. As far as I know, it's going to be Call of Duty, Black Ops, My Little Pony. So the stream was about two hours long. I felt pretty entertained. He kept up with the chat as best as he could. He's not too tech savvy, but luckily his stream was pretty stable over on YouTube. Now, with the first fact that he hasn't recorded since September 2018, that makes sense because as of right now, we don't know if voice actors were being scheduled to go to the studio to record lines for COD 2020 and especially due to this beer virus, everything we know of in terms of release dates and production schedules, all of that could be pushed back. We don't even know it. So I guess that makes sense. Last time we recorded, it was of course for Blackout and that was right before the release of the full game. Literally a month before the release of Black Ops 4, he was still recording lines for Blackout. Now with the second fact that he hasn't been in contact with anyone, this one makes me a little sad because the way he described it really hit me hard, right? The fact that he said that most of the people that he knew are no longer working at Treyarch. And people actually asked him, did he know the Jason Blundell? And he actually did. But he didn't go into much detail after that. I'm sure he saw the news that Blundell has departed from Treyarch. But with that reality that most of the people that he knew left the studio, I mean... It gets me thinking, right? Maybe the reason why there's a rumor going around from Verified Insiders that Woods is going to be recasted is because the people that are left at Treyarch might be like, all right, well, we don't hold too many close ties with James C. Burns. Those were the guys that left, right? Those were the guys that had close ties with James and wanted him to be back as Woods. Since we're left, we can go in a whole new direction with the character. We own the character. We don't necessarily need James Burns. Now, that's really sad if that's the case, and I feel like that could be the case. But with the third fact now that he doesn't know what the next Call of Duty is, right? He mentioned Black Ops My Little Pony, which was pretty funny. The thing about that is that, you know, as I've seen from tweets all over the place, it almost seems like James is coming to this harsh realization that he may, in fact, could have been recasted. And what hurts about that is I feel Woods is probably one of the most unique characters in the Call of Duty franchise because it's not just another voice actor coming in to record lines for this fictional character, right? It's not just that. James C. Burns is Woods. James C. Burns isn't even a voice actor, so to speak, right? Woods is really his only character, which is why he's so passionate about it and was lucky enough to record lines for the character in three separate games. And the thing is, if another voice actor came in through the voice of Woods, it just obviously wouldn't be the same, right? You know, people felt a little weird about Captain Price being recast and, you know, Gaz being different. I get it, right? You know, we were used to the same voice actor for the Modern Warfare trilogy, but... 
The thing about that is that they were voice actors that came in for those characters, right? With James C. Burns, Woods was his character. That's his guy. It's literally himself. He's playing himself. And, you know, the harsh realization there, too, is that Activision owns the character regardless of how passionate the voice actor is for the character and you know some evidence behind that is what, what happened with Kowloon. James C. Burns was like hey Guns of Truth is making the Kowloon custom map for Black Ops 1. It's a perfect map for Woods to begin with. Of course I'm down to go ahead and do lines for him and he literally recorded the lines for Woods in that map. Woods was even in the teaser trailer for the Kowloon custom map and what happened? Activision was knocking on their doors right you know cease and desist, DMCA's, all types of crap and unfortunately Woods had to be removed from the custom map. And do I agree with that? Absolutely not. I think it's great that a voice actor of a very, very familiar character is down to do free work just for the sake of supporting the community and doing something great that nobody else has really done before. And Activision's like, nope, you're not doing that. When what's interesting to me is that Activision didn't have to invest a single dollar into making the Kowloon custom map. Essentially, it's free marketing because that trailer would come out, it was really well edited by a professional, Activision would have been like, wow, that's really something. Somebody really did some great work. And then they could have promoted it themselves, right, on their Twitter. And in turn, it would get people to actually buy Black Ops 1 on PC. And who gets the money for those sales? Activision. So... You know, it would have been a cool situation to see, you know, James C. Burns helping Activision out, right, with essentially a free project that can still make a profit for Activision, right? That would have been great, but, you know, it, it really does suck seeing James C. Burns coming to a realization that his time as Woods may be over. And when it comes to the poster now, that's what I really wanted to get into. I actually saw this shortly before the James C. Burns live stream, and it's actually the thumbnail of this video. So, at Raven Software, there's actually a poster which can be seen nowhere else, and it's of Frank Woods fighting off some zombies. Now, I want to say this could have been concept art for the scrapped Vietnam DLC that we talked about the other day, right? That was a DLC that presumably now, I say presumably because we don't know for a fact, presumably could have been for DLC 3 of Black Ops 1. So instead of Shangri-La, we might have seen this Vietnam DLC. Maybe Woods would have been the main character on there, but it kind of gets me thinking, would he have been a celebrity? character on there like maybe just a bot that isn't playable and is doing stuff around there would you have played as him I and mean, I hope he would have played as him right that would have been great but then it kind of gets me confused with the direction of the ether story at that point because just the map before that you know call of the dead DLC 2 we were also playing as a celebrity cast not Ultimus but maybe Treyarch had a plan we're like all right we're gonna play as Ultimus in Ascension in Moon or excuse me DLC 4 was gonna be Paris so it wouldn't have been Moon and then maybe they would have had celebrity groups for DLC 2 and 3 right right? You know, the Call of the Dead cast in DLC 2, and then Woods and another crew in DLC 3. And maybe Ultimus would have, you know, been around somewhere in Vietnam, you know, needing the focusing stone, and Woods would have got it for them or something. That would have been really cool to see. But yeah, that poster that Raven has, right, presumably was for that, unless there was a different plan for Black Ops 1, where maybe Woods would have been a reoccurring character throughout the entire DLC season. Now, with the thought of Frank Woods being recasted in the future, it kind of gets me thinking that the character of Woods was almost cheated out of good storytelling, right? And he had some great storytelling in Black Ops 1 and 2, and as James described on stream, it was like one continuous narrative, right? It didn't feel like two separate games to him. When people were asking him to choose what his favorite game was, he felt like it was one fluent narrative, which is true. That's absolutely correct. But then Black Ops 3, there was no storytelling. It was non-existent. And what's interesting about that is that, if you guys remember, the Biblical Reaper actually did an interview with James C. Burns before the release of Black Ops 3. And based on that interview, it really did seem like James was involved in some way with that game at one point and even on the live stream the other day James did mention that he actually knows what went wrong with Black Ops 3 but isn't sure if he's able to talk about it yet he has to get that green light from the studio before talking about that so maybe one day he'll let us know what happened but I do believe Woods was at one point a part of whatever story they were going to tell in Black Ops 3 but that just fell through for whatever reason maybe there would have been flashbacks of some sort to make it feel more like a Black Ops game not like it's going in a new direction completely just with the Black Ops title and I know James did that interview with Biblical Reaper and it was great and all and unfortunately that just didn't lead up to anything and then Black Ops 4 comes around James is back Woods is back 
it's all exciting and the way James described Black Ops 4 on, on stream was that Blackout really did further the narrative and close up a lot of loose ends but people out there are a little confused on how that exactly works maybe I'll have a separate video in the future explaining the Blackout story a little bit better because I, I do want to say there are points of storytelling that definitely do wrap up some loose ends but the way you find those plots is a little difficult and it's not really in your face you actually have to dig for it in game so i'll talk about that at another time but james also explained that he will have a separate video dropping at some point explaining the blackout story but first he has to also get a green light from the studio because he isn't sure if that's going to be affecting whatever future plans Treyarch might have for the character or for the black ops franchise maybe when woods tells mason that he was the one in the box right at the end of the blackout cutscenes, or excuse me the end of the specialist stories cutscenes. maybe that's really the end of their arc because people were like oh maybe it's teasing the next black ops game right you know the roles will be in reverse and this time we'll play as woods most of the time and that could be true, but with the rumors of a full-on reboot for the Black Ops franchise, maybe that cutscene we saw at the end of Specialist Stories is truly the end for those characters, and that's what James means by, yeah, everything's kind of wrapped up, and that's about it. So that's pretty much it with James C. Burns. The live stream was great. He's going to be doing more streams over on his channel, which I'll have linked down below in the description, and I'll be checking those out. But I think for the time being, I'll be waiting for some of those videos he's been talking about, right, which explains some, you know, cut content, some storyline that people probably didn't catch on to. I'm excited for all of that. But after watching that, it's like, damn, man, it really goes to show that it doesn't matter how passionate the actor is. It absolutely does not matter. If Activision wants to reboot something, they're going to do it. No shit's given. In. And again, with the Modern Warfare reboot, at least from my understanding, I don't think any of the classic voice actors returned for any specific roles or cameos. Correct me down below in the comments if I'm wrong about that. I definitely could be. I just didn't pay enough attention to the Modern Warfare campaign. But I do think, as I said before, with the Black Ops reboot, if they're going to recast Woods, at least give James C. Burns something, some type of character or some type of callback throughout the story, right? Because I think it'd be sad to recast the character like him. If they're going to recast Mason, Reznov, go all for it, right? You know, Sam Worthington, who plays Mason, as I said before, too, he's gonna be busy with the Avatar franchise. He has a couple movies to shoot. I totally get if he's not available. And again, Sam Worthington's great. He was a phenomenal Mason, but I totally get recast him. He's also gonna get a little more expensive as the years go on, right? He's gonna be doing a lot more movies. But James C. Burns, come on, man. I just want the exception to be for the one character, just one man. <laughs> Give us the exception for that, right? But who knows? You know, with the rumor, too, that the numbers won't be featured in this new Black Ops reboot, it'll just be like this interrogation down to earth realism with vietnam i'm down for that but i definitely have a prediction that maybe towards the end of this new campaign then we'll get a hint of the numbers and that'll be the plot of black ops 2 or the new black ops 2 i should say so that's a bold prediction there for this reboot but let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section this has been dk dynamite do you want woods to get recasted what do you think of his live stream and do you think james c burns is now unfortunately coming to the realization that his character is in fact going to be recasted in the next couple of months really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everyone let's get the fuck out of here